Hello, my name is Mama Iman Shazwa bin Muhammad Sabi. My metric number is B021710052. Today, I would like to explain about how to find the optimum threshold value. First, we have the skill classes table here. We have the subject to 1 until 20. And then the subject is about the COVID-19. And the go through is a predicted of the subject. And the classify output score is the score and the threshold is a benchmark to know either it's a positive, uh, positive COVID-19 or negative. So we take one subject one, the count through is one, which is the predict is one. When you go to the hospital, the classify output is the, uh, is the result and we'll compare with the threshold 0 0.3. We can see that threshold 0 0.3 is a benchmark. And 0 0.81 is uh, above 0 0.3 can uh, show that the actual value is, has a COVID-19. And compared to the count through, predicted value is 1. So it will be a true positive. Uh, same, same to the number subject number 4 has a uh, count through is 0. But the classifier output score is 0 0.75. It's uh, Above the threshold 0 0.3, which actual value has a COVID-19 and the count through predicted number is 0, so it will be false positive. Okay, we another have a threshold which is a 0 0.5. Uh, we take example in subject 5, which is a, has a count through, which is the predicted is 1 and the classifier output score is 0 0.48. And the threshold, which is the predict, uh, the benchmark, is 0 0.5. We can see the classified output score is below the 0 0.5. He has a negative positive, uh, negative COVID. Compared to the predictor is one, it should be false negative. Another one threshold as a benchmark is 0 0.8. We take the example for the subject 13, which has a predicted is zero. And the classifier output score is 0 0.82, but the benchmark is 0 0.8. It shows above or 0 0.8, we have a actual value is 1, which is a positive COVID. But the predicted number is 0, so compare with it, we can find it is a false positive. My name is Kairo Eka Ben Kairo Azman, metric number B021710174. Now I will continue to the second step, which we apply various threshold and count the TN. Uh, TPTN, FP, and FN. Uh, and then we now we create a table that will uh, summarize or conclude all the TP, TN, FP, and FN value uh, from the previous uh, table. And we do this for all three thresholds 0 0.3, 0 0.5, and 0 0.8. After that, from the table, we can uh, calculate the precision, recall F1 score accuracy, TP rate, and FP rate for each threshold. Uh, this is the calculated value for threshold 0 0.3 and this one is the calculated value for the threshold 0 0.5 and this one for threshold 0 0.8 and now to answer your question which is the, uh, how to determine the optimum threshold value is by looking at the F1 score so between these three threshold um, 0 0.8 uh, scored the highest of 0 0.5647 uh, which we can conclude that it is the optimum threshold value uh, for this cute class data set with 20 subjects. Because uh, the, uh, the F1 score for 0 0.5 is 0 0.5504 and uh, the F1 score for the 0 0.3 is the 0 0.5. So uh, F1 score for 0 0.8 threshold is the highest. Thank you.